Hi everyone. Um, so the UK Science Engineering Task Force has been running for a number of years now, um, and essentially is collaboration first of all between Oxford, Belfast, and Cambridge putting this together to manage the um, activity. So our methods of engagement are threefold. The first one is reports on software evaluations, and this leads on from the earlier activity of the ETF through the first phase of the eScience program. The next one is commissioned reports and white papers, notes, basically to improve the documentation that comes out of eScience and eScience related projects as much as possible. And then finally, to look at meetings, workshops and demonstrations. Now how does that relate to why we're all here? So from the point of view of sustainability and software sustainability, I pulled three items out. The first one that we need, of course, software can only be sustainable if it is of high initial quality. If it has available support, and of course if the user community are actually aware that it's happening, aware that it's available. So initial quality, how does that relate to what we do? The software evaluations. We actually ask people and pay people to look at a piece of software and see actually how suitable is it for what it's saying that it does. Does it do as that painting advertisement says? Does it do what it says on the tin? We've got a number of, of available evaluations at the moment and the one I'd really like to draw your attention to principally because it's of extreme importance in the long term for the cloud activities within the UK NGS is, is a, a re-evaluation of infrastructure as a service cloud software. There are a number of products that have been developed and we want to really know which are the best, which are the ones that the community are saying are the long, is gonna be the long-term winner in this space. Principally because you know, we're a fairly small activity in clouds. There are a lot of institutions that are out there installing cloud services at the moment private clouds to support their own internal user community. The second part of sustainability, available support. And for this, we have the commission technical materials, the commission documentation. Improve your project's documentation by being paid separately to do it. Because one of the great problems that I've had with pro projects that I've been involved in, of course, is the, the point where you are able to disseminate most about a project is, of course, once the project has ended. You need to be able to then actually able to pay your staff or yourselves to go to conferences and things like this to disseminate out to the community as widely as possible. So we're able to fund you to be able to do that. We have a very light touch process, which I've um, described here, to actually get the documentation, get started, get writing, get disseminating to the outside world. The final one, community awareness. How are we actually involved in doing that? And from the primary one here is meeting sponsorship. We are of course sponsoring today and tomorrow. But what we aim to do is support appropriate technically focused workshops, meetings, and also demonstrations where possible. So if you have a conference that you think that would be a tool or something that would be appropriately disseminated, to properly show to people that are attending there, we can look at sponsoring people to go to those meetings. <coughs> There's the website. Thank you very much. I thought I'd keep it brief.